Uh, oh, save point. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Great. Hi, Zans. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately. Two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Uh, yeah. Yeah, how many times have I banned you, Bearded? Let's see here. The answer is... Whoops, if I can actually see here. 18 times! Should I make it 19? Nah, I, we've got another cutscene, so not right now. You lucked out this time. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Zans. Hi, Zans. Greetings, Zans. Hi, Zansy. Hey, Zans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. <laughs> Whoops, we'll watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put bulky cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby. I'll have a double order of burg. So, what do you think of my brother? Cool. Of course he's cool. Could be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Well, I already know what happens if you say yes. Why is the O of no like partway into it? Let's say no. More for me. He freaking chugs it! I've always said yes before, so I don't think I've seen it before. Anyway, cool or not, I have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be a part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of that head of the Royal Guard. And begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Two trains are traveling at each other at 30 meters per second and 20 meters per second respectively, 300 meters apart. Are you, or are you able to tell me freaking how long, how many seconds until they meet? Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So, you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they will repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000. Uh, no. Just kidding. Will be put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Alrighty. Also, I love how when Bearded was talking about being banned there, freaking Carvia, who's been lurking here, went and banned Bearded and then unbanned him. Carvia hasn't even said anything in chat. But freaking, the Bearded Jump has been banned by Carvia 4, the Bearded Jump has been unbanned by Carvia 4. Incredible. But yeah. <laughs> Wait, Bearded, does it not show who bans you then? So only the mods can see who bans and unbans? Oh, man. Carvia just in here lurking ready on the ban button. Wait, so that add one to the tally for bearded? Since it was- yeah, it did. One timeout, 19 bans. Something that I could do more often is like timeout for one second. <laughs> it can always be done. Yeah, the ban hammer has spoken. How many items do I have? Use the box, I'm facing the wrong way, but okay. Um... Sure. Something like that, I don't know. Something like that there. What's down this way, anyway? Um, Garvey never comes around unless you sub to him, so you never get to ban back. Oh, man. That's where I saw something behind that rushing water. Oh? Something there? Um. 
Tell to Formal. How what? Watching people. There's someone behind the waterfall? What the heck is this? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Okay. You got the old tutu. What the heck is this? Use? You equip the old tutu. I guess that's better than what I had there? Um, I have 10 defense now. Okay, I actually didn't know about that. Let's put the freaking bandage in the box then. Is what we'll do. Whoa, don't knock me off the waterfall there. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne. But in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself. But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. We're going spear fishing, boys. To the distortion world um oh and there's still more more scene here yo did you see the way she was staring at you that was awesome i'm so jealous what'd you do to get her attention <laughs> come on let's go watch her beat up some bad guys yeah it's a freaking monster kid well now we get to listen to waterfall a feeling of dread hangs over you but you stay determined when four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. And herald the end of the world! No, um... I like the little sound it makes. Yoink. I'm gonna take these. Bam, four bridge seeds. Perfect. Isn't that sign down there, like, pointless to see? Aaron flexes in. Freaking flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Flex in contest? Okay. Flex more, winky face. So much easier than with Alpha Mitts. Like, with a controller is harder than, you know, with a keyboard, but so much easier than with Alpha Mitts. Yeah, they really are uh, not so formal. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Nice. I won't lose though, winky face. Yes, we'll see about that there. Yeah, so much easier than with Alpha Mitts. Flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Nice. Boop. Um, I have to uh, do this from the other side, right? I have to, like, go here. To get the four to connect. If I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure that sign, like, says something about it being a pointless sign if you read it. I think. But yeah, Undertale is one of those games that gets, like, soundtrack slash sound design. Just so incredibly well done. And we go across here. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Well, you, will you say, uh, yes. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it, wink, wink. Uh, yeah, that game volume looks a little bit loud. I need my voice to for sure be higher than it, so I'm gonna turn it down one more smidge like that. Uh, maybe half a smidge more, actually. Is that minus 14 now? Something like that. Because, yeah, that is pretty loud there, isn't it? Have a nice day. Have a day. If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can call bridges back to where they start. Okay, I was just curious what that said. Welcome back, Sky. You can also just go to sleep. That's what you can do. Wishing a room. This is a place where we make all wishes. Hmm. Um, Washua shuffles up. 
Um, clean. Has Guash wanted to clean you? It hops around excitedly. Will <laughs> not sleep. Wah! Did I just need one? I hope. Yeah, I just need one. Okay. Will <laughs> not sleep. How many times did you say that? Look through the telescope? Yes. Check wall. Okay. What's this here? Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. <laughs> Hi, wall. Can I go into the water here or something? No. Apparently, I cannot. Yeah, but that's like on days that I can sleep in, though. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seems that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Welcome to Duck Dynasty! This time we're doing some spear fishing. I don't know what they do on Duck Dynasty. I don't know if that's a thing that they would do. What? How did one of those spears actually hit me? Yeah, what now? Yeah, what? Alrighty, sounds good. Horrible. Whoa. Wah! How about no? How about no? Thanks, man. I always get lost at like one of these coming parts. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. Have you were standing just a little bit to the left? Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Hmm, okay, now we can heal here. But yeah, knowing that the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Hmm. Oh, hi, Zans. Hi there. Thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 Gigers to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Okay. Quality telescope, let me tell ya. Let me tell ya. Huh? You aren't satisfied. Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Alright, I don't think I need to use the box there. Isn't there something in here? Oh, it's a place where I can get some more nice cream, I think. Relocate my store, but there is still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy a nice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free nice cream. Make sure to get the customers to come back. But yeah, I didn't any use any of it from before. There's ice cream hidden in the depths of a watery cavern. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Oop. Wait, what if I turn them both off? I just noticed there was another one. Okay, he doesn't care. He doesn't even seem to care, apparently. That is a shame. What the heck are you? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Yeah, that's a little bit creepy, isn't it? The music came back, so does that mean that that's the real way to go and that the optional thing is over here? Oh. Yes, it is. Okay. So we're going down this way now, then. Alrighty, time to not get lost. Yeah, we could potentially go there. 
Um, what's all the way over here? It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Okay, I've never grabbed that before. Info. Weapon attack seven. These shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. <laughs> Weird. I don't know. I mean, I never attack anyway. Like, I guess I will have to, like, right at the end of the game. We can put on the ballet shoes. Well then, you love Tem. Good old Tem. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, a friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, she would obviously change her clothes. You're such a smart cookie. That's why you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. <laughs> Better get cowboy hat? I have no idea where to get that. I have no idea where that is. Wait, can I just... Okay. <laughs> okay, then. Works for me. Guess we go this way now. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Is a shop in Hotland? Okay, I may have to look out there then. Oh, this part. I've got things to do, I'll have you know. Creepy. Hey, there. Notice you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? I've got places to be. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? And you love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. That's something Carvia would say. Big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here. I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. And then the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I want to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Untied's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Yeah, Onion, Onion San is Carvia. That, he's probably still lurking here. <laughs> hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. Yeah, this is what Carvia looks like in real life. That's it right there. Not again. Uh, I have to conduct, I think. You wave your arms wildly. You're now vulnerable to electric attacks. What? Yeah, what now? Cannot at Carvia. Yeah, you can only at people who are talking in chat. Um. Um. You hum a funky tune. Chiron follows your melody. Can I spare now? Cool. Cool. Northern room hides a great treasure. Does it now? There's a piano here. Play it? Okay. What am I supposed to play here? <laughs> also, it's technically Carvia4, so that wouldn't even add him. That would add, like, his other account. For some reason, he goes by Carvia4 instead of Carvia, even though he has the account Carvia. Hunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Music box thing in the hallway. Music box in the hallway? A what? Its power is no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. The boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now, it never will. The statue thing? Need an umbrella? Oh, what? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how to play the waterfall theme. Haven't passed it yet, I think. I know the first four notes are like...
Oh. Something like that? I don't know. Yeah, but I want to play Waterfall. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's the next few rooms. Good luck playing Waterfall. I got most of it there. I mean... Not in the last try, I got mixed up all of a sudden. Alright, this thing. It's a statue. The statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. I'm getting messages here, apparently. Text messages. Meh. That statue. So, do I bring an umbrella over to it then, in that case? Take an umbrella. Take one. Okay. I took an umbrella. Do I take it over to the statue? Put the umbrella on the statue. Okay. I don't... Oh. Replace the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Music continues and doesn't stop. So, do I go play Memories? Oh, if I stay long enough, it'll give you the code. I had to stay there? I don't think I've ever done this before. The music continues and doesn't stop. So I just chill here for a hot second? Without doing anything you think. Okay. Oh, it's right there. Oh. Well, yeah. I'll take that. Um. So neutral, upright, neutral, down, down, right. Neutral, neutral, upright, neutral. Neutral, upright, neutral, down, down, right. 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 Okay. And hello, hello, Dar. Hello, hello. What the heck is this? I've never gotten this before. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Okay. You're carrying too many dogs? What? It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Take it. You're carrying too many dogs. What does that mean? Wait, what? Annoying dog. Dog, a little white dog. It's fast as- What the heck? Do I have to put the dog in a box? What the- I don't know where I can get a box. What does that thing do for me anyway? What are these notifications I'm getting? What is it? <laughs> I don't understand. Please take one. Is there a box somewhere? Will not spoil? I guess I'll go find a box here relatively soon. Whenever I can next. Let's go for a nice little stroll here. Yo, kind umbrella. Awesome. Let's go. Well, I don't know if we're gonna get a save point plus box combination soonish. Man, that dying is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. Also, the dog is in that room exclusive. Oh? If I was a human, I'd wet the bed every night knowing she was gonna beat me up. Are there sounds happening over there? There might be. So. So is it impossible to get that artifact then? Is it just something to tease you and you can never get it? <laughs> is that what's going on? Is that all that is? You can never take it. So one time. Try to get it? What would I do though? This project where we had to take care of a flower. Either use or drop the dog. Okay. Okay, we had to call Mr. Dreamer. Volunteer to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Should I just go back and do it now? And hello, Touch Sky. How's it going today? Hello, hello. I know we're kind of in the middle of the cutscene with this dude here, but... What if we just interrupt it? 
Is he just gonna wait there? Because I've never tried to get that artifact there before. Is he gonna go back into his little hole there? No, he's coming along this way. Is he gonna keep following me? <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess we'll just redo that bit in a sec then. In that case. Okay, let's <laughs> see what happens over here. I've never done this before. I was gonna try to find a box to put the doggo into. Doing good things, that's good to hear. So, annoying dog, use. And hello, Yandesu. Howdy, howdy. You deployed the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. <laughs> the artifact is gone. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? That was, uh, I've never seen that before. I've never done that before. I've done a lot of things in Undertale in the past, but I've never done that one before. Oh my goodness, there's always so many little things along the way. But yeah, you've never seen anything about Undertale, though? Really? I feel like a lot of people have, you know, at least, you know, gotten into it in some way, whether it just be, like, through videos or something like that. Knowing about stuff. Especially considering, like, like, in 2015 to 2016, back when it was, like, super big, when everybody on the interwebs was kind of losing their minds over it. And got through it because classmates. I got through it because of one of my remixers that I was listening to a whole bunch at the time. Camex was recommending it. And starting to remix some things from the game. Oh, and nice. Maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Camera off for both cutscene and thumbnail purposes. In case anyone's wondering. <laughs> Should I deposit the umbrella now? Yeah, anime is totally real. It totally is. And my favorite anime is Spongebob. It's the, it's the most real and best one. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. There we go. Nice. Yes. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. <laughs> nice guy. <laughs> I hear noises over there. Hey, okay, let's save here real quick. The serene sound of a distant music box fills you with determination. Humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, but countless monsters were turned to dust. Looks like we're getting back at it with some more spear fishing. All right, take care. Whoa, da, 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 da. This is what happens when I look at chat. Uh, take care, young. Da, 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 young da, dang it, young Desu. Jeez, I can't words. My goodness, that's not a good sky. I always forget what the route here is. It's like somewhere to the bottom right-ish, I think. Not this far down. Not this far down to the bottom right, though. I don't recall. Um. No, not this far down. So we go up and around to the, like, the big, more open area, and then it's somewhere to the bottom right. Oh. Oh, what? Wait. Wait. Hold on a hot second. Hold on a hot ticker here. Um. Dang, I want to read that, but at the same time, I kind of can't. How's it going hot? Whoa. Um. Whoa. Please tell me you saw Monkey get online like five minutes ago. What, just online on like the friends list kind of thing? On, uh, on Twitch? Or on Discord? Because I see him online on Discord all the time. I can never reach him. I've tried. Um, uh, I need to read the rest of that message, but it's kind of hard to. My, oh my. I need to read things. Um, got a lot- it was video gaming on Smash- Ah! Saw a pop-up online playing Pokemon Sword, you popped off IRL. Oh, so he's been using his Switch then. In that case, because I see him online on Discord all the time, but...